This is six inches of water. And in New York City, uh, DEP has taken this amount, if it falls in about 24 hours, to be reasonably managed by the sewer system. Since warmer air can hold more moisture, rains will increase and downpours will be heavier. Hurricane Ida was 8.8 .8 inches, and it's expected the future rain events, cloudbursts, might be as much as 10 inches in New York City. 10 inches is a lot of water. In a city, uh, New York, for instance, is about 72% uh, impervious, uh, so it all adds up. This water is more than the sewer system can handle, if it even get it, can get in there. Excess water will collect and flow to lower points, or burst up from the sewers. It's not difficult to imagine the rivers and the lakes that will form at lower elevations. To put it in perspective, the difference between six inches and 10 inches in the future amounts uh, to a, in the future amounts to a staggering 20 billion gallons of water for New York City alone, which is roughly three times the size of the upper reservoir near Derna that recently flooded. <laughs> <laughs> and this isn't just water. It's contaminated with oil, sediment, garbage, and raw sewer. It needs a place to go, or it can bring disaster, from flooding our homes, subways, and streets, to causing electro electrocution and health risk. New York City's climate chief acknowledges that simply increasing the dimension of pipes will not work. In our hubris, we have overbuilt creeks, marshes, and swamps. More than 20% of this New York City is built in places that used to be watery. And the climate crisis is causing sea level uh, to rise, blocking the water from reaching the sea. A drop of water can fall on a building, its yard, the parking lot, the sidewalk, the street, the plaza, the park. Every drop that is not managed properly and locally can, will create problems elsewhere. And with so much water, every drop counts. And making a city rainproof requires us to consider a number of components. First, we need to, managing water must be part of every decision we make in changing our city. It's a collective effort where everyone is involved and needs to share responsibility. Secondly, we need more space for water in our cities. That means rethinking our land use, uh, reintroducing nature in our urban landscapes, not only to manage uh, heavy rains, but also to cool us off, increase biodiversity and cope with longer periods of drought. And lastly, we must understand that recalibrating our cities to harmonize the constructed and natural and to undo the mistakes of the past takes time. And that's... Uh, where I think we can, we can talk about biblical in the relation of floods. Not, uh, floods are not biblical in the sense because we are the architects of this catastrophe and we are also the ones that can warn about it. But if we do turn to the Bible and to the uh, books of faith, we have the stories of Noah's ark. And if we take that of inspiration, there's one thing to remember. Noah took about 120 years to prepare. We have less time. The floods are here already. And so we better get to work together and quickly. Thank you. Thank you.